guys welcome back to my channel this is Kat and happy halfway to Halloween I can't believe we are halfway to Halloween it's crazy so to celebrate we're gonna do a Halloween project because you know I love Halloween last year halfway to Halloween I hosted a swap on my Instagram um, so I thought you know to celebrate this year I'm just gonna do a quick Halloween project in April well kind of May I was gonna say May but it's April 30th, so yes, April 30th. I'm not joking you. I'm gonna do a Halloween project, but just to celebrate halfway to Halloween, and then we'll keep going with spring, don't worry. Um, so we're just gonna be using the uh, do-it-yourself party board from We Are Memory Keepers. This is the first time I'm using it. Um, Mr. Woofy got this for me, so I'm super excited. Um, you can do a variety of projects on here, just basically everything you see on here. So I'm really excited to be able to use this. Um, I'm thinking what we're gonna use today is the party horn and I'm going to be um, using that as my base, or maybe just the party hat. Haven't really decided. I'm pretty sure the party horn. Um, and we're just gonna use it kind of like a cornucopia um, and fill it with um, a bunch of Halloween goodies. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So if we look at the instructions for a party horn, it says that we need a seven by seven paper, which I already have here. So I'm going with more of a vintage Halloween with the music notes, kind of spooky. Um, this is double-sided. And then um, it gives you the placements of where you're gonna put um, the guides, which I already have set up here. And then what I'm gonna use for the like the little um, horn part is just this empty confetti tube. I'm thinking it's the right size. I might trim it down. So that's what I'm gonna be using for the little um, horn bit. Even though it won't be a functioning horn, um, it'll still work with what I want. And then I also have some little other tidbits. So I have these spider webs. I have this uh, vintage, um, what is it, uh, paper. So it's a, from like, um, what is it called? A dictionary. So someone had gifted this to me. So it has like degeneration, has delirium on there. So really neat. And then another strip of paper here to incorporate and kind of decorate it and start the decorating process. And then we'll move on to finish the decorating and fill it up with some goodies. So let's go ahead and get started by trimming down this paper according to the guidelines. So I'm really excited. I haven't used this before, so let's see how this turns out. So like I said, I already have my guidelines here. I think you're supposed to insert the paper in here. Hmm. See, I'm trying to figure it out still. Oh, you're supposed to put it at an angle. There we go. I want to keep this here because it has like that distressed look. Although I could use my Tim Holtz distressing to um, distress everything else out. So that doesn't technically matter, I guess. Okay, and then I already have it on the guidelines, so I just have to put, you see how it has that little round edge right here? I have to put this in here and line it up. And just go across like that. Simple as that, so easy. And then I also have to trim this bottom piece. There we go. And that's where like the little horn piece goes, or the, um, yeah, the little horn piece. So we take those off. That was actually really easy to use. Very impressed. I loved all the different um, ideas and uh, altering cups and like that. You know, if you buy them at the 99 cent store and make them for whatever theme that you want. So I thought that was really neat. So here it is. Super cool. I'm going to look at the guidelines again to see how, uh, what's the next step we're going to do. Okay, so it says use strong adhesive or hot glue to adhere noisemaker inside cone. Wrap in a cone shape around the noisemaker and adhere closed. Okay, so I had to gather up my glue because I didn't have it there with me. So I'm going to make this into a cone shape and that's what it says in the instructions. I think we're going to go without having that piece at the, at the bottom. That'll be fine. Won't be a big deal. Um, what I would suggest is if you have like one of those... Um, what is it called like the quilling tools or whatever to help you bend this that would be great like the if they have big ones so that way you don't like crease your paper kind of just using my fingers you could also probably use like a pencil to help you roll it but yeah one of those like quilling tools would be much better Yeah, 
that this should be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and adhere that okay so i have my cone here not too shabby i do have a little bit of an excess here and then you see that this isn't all adhered, so i'm just going to use some glue for that so that way it's all adhered down okay and then since that does bother me i'm not a perfectionist but i also don't like if there's just unevenness like that so i'm just going to trim that down a little bit Just so it's not so obvious that I didn't perfectly match it. And there we go. Simple as that. So we have our initial cone, and this is going to be something smaller. You can always make this bigger. They have the guidelines to be able to make like a, a hat. So you can definitely use like the hat um, template to make an even bigger version of this. And then um, Mr. Wolfie got this for me at Tuesday morning. Um, and I believe they still have it. I, when I saw it at my store, they had it like a bunch of them. Um, so definitely check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna be adding my doily, which is the spiderweb doily. I got these maybe two years ago on clearance after Halloween at Target. I think I paid like, I don't know, maybe a quarter for these. So it was a really great deal. There we go. I'm gonna add it something like this. Ooh, that looks neat. I really like how that looks. And it's a little big down here at the bottom. So I'm thinking I'm just going to chop off some of this so that way there's no excess at the bottom there. That should be good. And then when I glue it all down, all that will be tapered down. That should be good. Trying to do one side first and then the other because it does overlap. There we go. And then we'll do this side. And guys, I was looking at my Instagram and seeing that I'm close to reaching like maybe five people away from reaching 5,500 on there. And that's just amazing because it was what, like maybe two weeks ago that I announced that I reached 5,000 so that's just blows my mind and honestly I'm so humbled by all the love and support that I reach on there so I really really appreciate it and you know my goal for this year which was crazy I told myself that it was nuts that I wouldn't really achieve that but I still said you know if you're gonna put a goal why don't you just reach for the stars and my goal was to um to make it to 10,000 this year so I don't know at the rate that I'm going I might reach it and I just can't believe that I'm so like I said I'm so humbled and and I just I'm lost I'm at a loss for words for all your support on there it really means so much it's making my dream come true of making this you know well it is my full-time thing and hopefully one day could be something that I could contribute to my family and as a ways to support my family so I honestly truly truly appreciate it because each and one of your supports your follows your subscriptions your likes your comments it helps me reach that goal a little closer reach we should a little closer so I really really appreciate it it means the world to me there we go I think that looks really cute I love that it like you could use this as a megaphone add a little thing that would be so cute definitely give, giving me ideas for Halloween projects but cute I like how that looks and I actually was going to put something like this on top and then like maybe this to do a lot of layering but I honestly like how it looks just like this I don't know let me know in the comments I think it looks good like this and then embellishing it with other little things of course but I'm really liking this I think I'm also gonna create a um, a little trim here but so far this looks really cute and we'll move on to the next step 
Okay, so then the next little part is adding that trim on here. I have a few that I pulled out and I do want to incorporate some orange in there. I think that would be cool. Like pom-pom one. That one's cute too, so I might do that one. And then I do have like the um, adhesive trim that I picked up from Michaels last year. So I might incorporate some of that in there. I was really liking this orange one. So I might use that one. I think that that will look neat. I do, I do think I want to have it to be um, black, white, and orange. So we're going to start adhering this on here. I'm starting with the back. There we go. And then just slowly make my way all around this. I don't know, do you guys like the, the trim with the adhes adhesive strips on there? Because personally, it's hard sometimes to put this away. It gets everywhere. It sticks to everything. <laughs> so there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm thinking I want to double layer it. So maybe add this on top or would that be too much? Because you can see the orange a little bit behind peeking out. But it might be too much. Hmm. <laughs> this is in decisions. Maybe go back to this, to the um, adhesive one, and use like a smaller one, like this strip right here. I think this little strip would be good. Start again on the back. You know, everything is about details your attention to detail and how much you incorporate. The more layers you give, the better it looks. Of course, it takes practice to do layering. I've done some layering that I'm like, oh my gosh, what, I w what was I thinking? But yeah, I'm liking that. I think that looks really cute. And then I pulled out some other little things I was thinking of using. So I really like, I love little skeletal, like skeleton hands. So I might use this or I might have this peeking out. So you see it is double sided. Might have this peeking out from the inside with like other little things that I put in here. I also have this flower. Let's see how this looks. Someone gifted this to me. You see it's from uh, Michael Celebrate It, The Day of the Dead. Take one of these out. So if I put something like this, ooh, but this is more the front. There we go. Oh, I like that. I really like how that looks. I'm probably going to be adding some um, glue on there so that sticks a little stronger because I never trust the adhesive quality from products from stores. Same with chipboard and stickers and all that. I typically add glue to ensure it stays in place. we go. Maybe a little bit more this way. I gotta give that a little bit of time to dry and then we're gonna work on um, the stuff that's gonna go on the inside. Okay so I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing so far. So you can see I have a bunch of skewers that I cut down to size and I'm gluing different things to it so it's going to create basically like a bouquet of different items and um, so this is an idea so far I have this one in there and the way I'm putting this in there is I put a styrofoam ball just a small styrofoam ball maybe about an inch um, and glued it down in there so I can stick the skewers in there. So I kept the pokey part of the skewer and just trimmed it down in size, basically about half. And then, you know, you can um, shorten the skewer so that you have a bouquet of different items, um, different lengths. And I'm going to throw in some um, of this crepe paper in there, depending if I need it. So just kind of like stuff it in there in the inside to cover up any like empty areas. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing so far. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish gluing all the different things and we'll continue. Okay, so I glued everything down on the skewers. Now it's just a matter of putting them in there. I did a variety of different sizes. So we're just gonna start filling this up. 
being gentle so we don't move the foam circle too much. And um, yeah, just kind of adding things where you think they should go. Filling in areas. I think this would be fun, um, a fun idea to do with not even just like the Halloween, I'm only doing the Halloween one um, because it's halfway to Halloween and I want to do something fun. But you can honestly do this with any other theme. Um, you can add like spring items in there and kind of just make a cone of like an embellishment cone to gift to a pen pal or a friend. You can add candies, you know, how graduations are coming up. So you can do that as well. That would be fun. Don't want it to be too close to that one. So we'll hold off there. So I'm liking how it's looking. It's looking really good really cute just trying to stagger the items add this one in here yeah that's looking really good really liking that There we go. I think this flower I'm going to throw back here. It's okay if it's covered. Add this one here. It's going to run out of space in there. There we go just add I just added a bunch of different things um, that way uh, whoever receives this they can tear off the glue relatively easy and use all these goodies make sure I'm adding it in the right spot I have one more here have another one of these wands throw that one in there it's okay if it covers up well that one I might throw back here and then I think I have one more I was thinking of adding like a little washi roll as a gift there we go I honestly really like how that turned out it turned out oh I have one more <laughs> a little um sequence just running out of space here. Sorry, I moved the camera. Let me just throw that right there. There we go. Um, I don't know if I can fill it, fill it in with this stuff. I would probably have to go in and add it. So that would be a cute idea, but you just have to do it little by little. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added that crepe paper, or not the crepe paper, the shred, the uh, crinkle paper, there you go in there little by little to fill in all empty space and I really love how this turned out I think it's super fun I'm gonna try to zoom out a little bit oh no, actually you can see it pretty well um, but yeah I added the little skelly hand here off camera as well I forgot to mention that and that's just so it doesn't tip over but it is a little weighted on the top so if I had any recommendations for you is to maybe add some weights on the bottom of the cone somehow so that way it um, counterbalances and like you know helps keep it steady but I really really loved how this turned out it's just a fun little cone um, a little gift cone like I said you can do this for many themes Mother Day is coming up so you can do this for Mother's Day a little bouquet of gifts or for um, 
graduations that are coming up or birthdays, whatever themes um, that you can think of. Happy Mail, you can, you know, do this with Maggie Holmes. I think that would be so cute. But I really love how it turned out. A fun little thing to celebrate that it's halfway to Halloween. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's not Halloween yet. Some might like it, some might not. But I hope you take this as a tutorial to incorporate with other projects. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And ring that bell so you can be notified about future videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!